Hello. Welcome to XCOM with live commentary. So I might edit some of this down later. Um, but for now, I think I'll just try and do most of the commentary as I play. Anyway, we're doing classic mode. We do not need these tutorials. We are doing Iron Man. Um, let's see. Yeah, we don't. Well, we'll leave that up. Okay, second wave. Okay. <laughs> there we go. So we're having a bunch of extra options. And here we go. Okay, so this is season five, I think, of XCOM. Those who play with the Devil's Toys will be brought by degrees to wield his sword. Okay. Well, I've seen this cinematic before. Everyone's so curious. Natural selection. I mean, if you're being attacked from the air, you should seek shelter, not go to the things. Okay. So begins Ruberos's XCOM Season 5 Classic Iron Man. Hello there. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's hmm. future. They don't even have a plan B, I guess. Mission 14 last time. Okay. So. We can get extra money. Instant autopsies. Projects in the foundry and officer training school. Cost 50% less. Hmm. Honestly. Asia really is the best one. But I might want to try Africa for once. We get extra money. We're dropping you just okay. inside the Egyptian border. We picked Operation up a Dark Bureaucracy. Because so everyone knows process. bureaucracy is truly evil. So it's nighttime above Egypt. And looks like we're in a parking lot. Or something. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Okay. Sort of a shipping yard sort of place. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we already found three aliens. That was fast. They're all over there by the meld. Oh. Even more aliens. So many aliens. Okay. Can we do this? 
Yes, we can. We have too many aliens. <laughs> no, sorry. Okay, let's pump pump full of lead if we can hit. Oops, we left her with poor cover. So that grenade. Sure, these aliens are even trying to do. Uh, but we can't hit the broadside of a barn. Okay. Uh, yeah, they do that. Okay, so they're not taking very good shots. Hmm. He is in Overwatch. So, uh, let's see. We have Taya, we have Evil Emmy Song, we have Angelic Dragon, and Matsugi. Hmm, if we can get a grenade right here. Eh, that's as good as we're gonna do here. Okay. Yeah, that alien's too close. Good job. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Okay, the Overwatch one needs to die. And we can get two for the price of one, but that's gonna be hard. Instead, we'll go over here. Yeah, well, looks like we have a better shot on him anyway. But we can't hit people. They're blowing up all our porta potties. That really stinks. <laughs> okay. These aren't the best shots, but two for the price of one isn't bad. Fifty-five, fifty-six. Eh, we'll take that one. Why can no one hit this alien? Honestly. the meld but we'll take this shot okay there we go finally so we won't lose the meld good job angelic dragon oh. okay there we go that was good okay Get there. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. Yep, I've been here before. Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Is to lecture you endlessly. In keeping 
and deal with linkage. person to shoot got two kills, so it had to be Matsugi. Okay. Lemmy-san's a sniper, Matsugi's a support, and Angelic Dragons and Assaults. 